Okay, this is the cement mixer. It's a fantastic Tabata workout. You can do it just about anywhere, which is why I'm gonna demonstrate it outside. It requires little more than perhaps a tube or a three to eight pound dumbbell. It's a Tabata workout, so you're gonna do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, alternating in that fashion for four minutes per exercise. We're gonna start off with number one, mini jump squats. For mini jump squats, you're gonna have your palms pressed together like this to help activate the core. You're gonna squat down to touch your elbows to the top of your thighs, then explode up and do a one inch mini hop off the ground like this. Now, when you squat down, you don't wanna go so deep that your heels come off the floor. If your heels are coming up, you're going too low. Now, if we wanna progress this exercise, you can jump higher or you can hold a heavy weight or a rock in front of your body. The next exercise is step through lunges. For this one here, you're gonna have your palms pressed together again to help activate the core. You're gonna take a big, huge lunge, two to three feet behind you, bend both knees till your rear knee is just shy of the ground, then swing that leg forward and do a forward lunge. That's one rep. Repeat the sequence, stepping the leg through, forward and back, doing all reps on one side per set. Now a progression for this is to put your hands behind your head and push your elbows back, just like this. A further progression is to extend your arms up overhead and keep them extended overhead the whole time. And if you want to, you could also progress it by once again holding a heavy weight or a rock in front of your body. The next exercise we're gonna go on to is knee drive forward bend hops. So for this exercise, you're gonna bend forward on one leg, touch your hands to the front of your shins. Whoops, I lost my balance there. Then you swing that knee through and do a little hop. Bend forward, swing the knee through and do a little hop. I'm gonna give you a different view here. So I do a forward bend on one leg, then I swing the knee through, hop. And when you hop and land, you want to stick the landing which means you wanna be able to balance on that foot without wobbling or losing your balance. If you're having trouble, hold on to a tree or a wall and that'll make it really easy, okay? Now, as a progression, you can flex the bicep that's opposite to the knee that comes up. And the reason for that is there's a reflex with the opposite hip flexor and bicep, helps you activate the hip flexor more. So it would look like this bicep flex, bicep flex, bicep flex. So that there is the knee drive forward bend hops. Our next exercise is going to be a one armed push up. Now the key to the one arm push up is I want you to have your fingers point inwards like this when you're starting out. I'm going to use a tree for this. So I have one hand on the tree and my fingers are pointing in. My heels are up and they stay up the whole time. Now, I'm gonna focus on bending the elbow out to the side and pulling my face to the arch between the thumb and the index finger. Then I corkscrew the arm to press off. Pull my face to the arch, corkscrew to press off. Now, the action of corkscrewing the arm, it's kind of like you're thinking about doing this, but you're not actually moving it but that intention will help you to activate the muscles properly. And then also you wanna have your free hand and a fist behind your low back, squeezing it. That actually helps you to keep everything more rigid in your torso. Now, if I wanna make it easier, I can move in closer. That makes it significantly easier. If I wanna make it harder, I move further out. You could progress to a high ledge. You could use something like a tabletop, or a counter if you wanna step it up from this. You're gonna do one set on one arm, the next set on the next arm, and you alternate arms each set. You're really gonna feel that in the triceps, a little bit of the shoulders, core, a fantastic full body exercise. Now the next one is the drop, catch, reverse fly. For this one here, you have a hand on the crease of your hips, you're bent forward 45 degrees with a straight back. You can hold on to a rock like I'm using here or a three to eight pound dumbbell. And you start off with it across your opposite leg, 
you arc it all the way up to the side, drop and catch it at the top, just like so. Now, if you don't have access to a good sized rock or a weight for that, you can also use an exercise tube. So here I have a pink exercise tube. You'd wanna go with a light to medium tube. Now I'm gonna stand my opposite foot on the one end of the tube. I begin with it across and I pull it up and instead of drop catching it, I'm just doing a pump at the top. Now I'm just gonna give you a different view here. So I'm just like this. And that would be our alternative exercise. If you don't have either, then just do wall slides. So you literally magnetize your spine against a wall or a tree and slide your arms up and down while continually pressing them backward into retraction. And that would be our alternative exercise. The next one we're gonna be doing is now done on the ground. So I suggest if you're outside, you can just throw a towel down on the ground. This one is called the Nile Dolphin. So what you do here is you're going to be holding yourself up on your forearms like I am here with the front of the hips down. Now I'm feeling a bit of a gentle stretch in the front of the abs, but also I'm reversing the posture in the spine. My spine is an extension, which is good for healing and postural correction of the spine. Now what you do here, ankles flex, toes tucked under, push your hips up and back, look at your feet, come back to the start. Up and back, look at the feet, come back to the start. And you repeat this motion here. The next exercise is the ankle gun sit-ups. For this one here, you're gonna be laying face up. Your hands are in a finger gun, just like this, okay? Fingers interweaved, index fingers together. Arms out behind your head. You're gonna lift up, bring the inside of an ankle and the finger gun together. Inside of the ankle and finger gun together. So I'm bending my knees out to the side. Just to give you an alternative view, it looks like this. Now a progression is to do a foot to mouth sit up where you grab the foot and you pull it to the mouth and you're gonna sit up all the way or as high as necessary on this one here. So that would be the progression, the foot to mouth sit up. Of course, we wouldn't really move on to that progression if you have low back concerns. So that's the cement mixer. It's a fantastic workout routine. I know you're gonna love it.